Hello and welcome back to Rosalind Reed's Fifty Shades of Grey. We are on chapter nine now. All those normal, uh, those normal warnings apply. We're all gonna say the fuck word a lot and we're, this is, because it's Fifty Shades, just, this book has a lot of shitty things in it. S sad shitty things that no one should experience. If you're under 18, uh, get a fuck out. Get a fuck out. Get a fuck out. Also, like, you know, if you're if you're bothered by rape or, you know, abuse in any capacity or just anything uncomfortable, really. Because this book has pretty much a little bit of all of it. And with that, your safe word for this session is Twilight was better. <laughs> oh, oh, you're killing us. I mean, it's technically true. true. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start us off today once Ray is done opening that coke at the speed of sound. Or <laughs> <laughs> I meant to say like it was loud, but then the only thing that came into my mind was Coldplay for some reason. So whatever. Dun, 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 dun. That's a good ass song. I it is. Will I fight. I love Coldplay. Okay, let me just. Get us back to where we were on the list of names, because we have like a whole list. We have so much. When we get bored, okay, we just is... start. Yeah, we we got. We yes. got... That, that, that's the first yeah. one. I think we're here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not doing that first one. Uh, if you're the one reading, then you're the one who has to. Yeah. God fucking. <laughs> you want to start? <laughs> Fine. <laughs> you little pussy ass pussy. bitch. <laughs> I can't do that one the way it needs to be done. Yeah, you can. Everyone can. Well, fine. Light fills the room. Holy shit, Light Yagami is here. <laughs> and he's <laughs> like, expand, expand. Expand, expand Light Yagami. <laughs> Please don't. Expand justice. <laughs> I'm sure DeviantArt has it somewhere. Oh, I'm sure it's got plenty. Light fills the room, coaxing me from a deep sleep to a wakefulness. Wait, to, from deep sleep to wakefulness, sorry. I stretch out and open my eyes. It's a beautiful May morning, Seattle at my feet. Wow, what a view. Beside me, Bismillah no, we will let, let you go, go. Let him go. Is fast asleep. <laughs> that was some good teamwork. <laughs> I'm surprised he's still in bed. He's facing me, and I have an unprecedented opportunity to study him. His lovely, <laughs> face, his lovely face looks younger, relaxed in sleep. His sculptured, pouty lips are parted slightly, and his shiny, clean hair is a glorious mess. Hypnosis will be on the test. <laughs> How could anyone look this good and still be legal? I remember <laughs> What? <his> <laughs> What? 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 Crimson. Crimson. <laughs> uh, burgundy. I, I think that that's supposed to be a parody of the, oh wow, it's illegal to be as pretty as you, you know, sort of pick up line. But, uh... <laughs> but the context. It just kind of comes Especially out. with, like, how many? He looks even younger. <laughs> yeah. And I'm just like, okay. You were already, like, thinking about young Christian Grey as just a little boy in the last chapter. I'm uncomfortable. <laughs> I'm uncomfortable. Jesus, I'm already yawning. I remember his room upstairs. Dot, dot, dot. Perhaps he's not legal. Mm, stop. Uh, <laughs> I, shake I know what you're intending, but what this comes off as is just really, really <laughs> ruby. I don't like it. Stop. I shake my head so much to think about. It's to- Oh, Jesus, stop. It's tempting to reach out and touch him, but like a small child, he's so lovely when he's asleep. Rose, stop! Crimson, <laughs> fire truck, stop! Beat. <laughs> he's so lovely when he's asleep. I don't have to worry about what I'm saying, what he's saying, what plans he has, especially his plans for me. Jesus, I don't have to worry about what? him killing me in my sleep. Brick, <laughs> worry. Jesus, this is a doozy of a first paragraph. <laughs> I could gaze at him all day, but I have needs. Bathroom needs. Slipping I don't want to know. <laughs> Slipping out of bed, I find his white shirt on the floor and shrug it on. I walk through a door, thinking that it might be the bathroom. 
But I'm in a vast walk-in closet as big as my bedroom. Well, guess I'll just have to pee in here now. <laughs> this reminds me of like when you're a little kid and you're trying to find the bathroom, but you find your way into the fitting room instead, and you're just like, this isn't correct. <laughs> lines and lines of expensive suits, shirts, shoes, and ties. How can anyone need this many clothes? I tut with disapproval. Actually, Kate's wardrobe probably rivals this. Why? If she's not even here, why you gotta shit on Kate? <laughs> Kate, oh no, I didn't think about her all evening. I was supposed okay. to text her. Crap, I'm going to be in trouble. I wonder briefly how she's getting on with Elliot. Returning to the bedroom, Christian is still asleep. I, I thought that is. Hmm. Oh, sorry. Bimble to babble cucumber snatch is still asleep. <laughs> I try the other door. It's in the bathroom, and it's bigger than my bedroom. Why does one man need so much space? Two sinks. Honey, <laughs> I know you don't know that much about men, but, uh... <laughs> men only need, like, one room and a bathroom and, like, a fridge, right? <laughs> you just put some newspaper down for them, right? <laughs> <laughs> just put up a little gate so they don't hurt themselves. <laughs> Two sinks, I notice with irony. Given he doesn't sleep with anyone, one of them can't have been used. Yes, thank you for spelling that out. We couldn't have guessed that. Or you could just use one and, like, alternate so one doesn't get hella nasty. I stare at myself in the gigantic mirror above the sinks. Also, is anybody getting the, the wealth porn here? Because this is, this is the wealth porn. We've got to have money. Yeah, like, she's she's being all, oh my god, why do you need so much? But let's be real here, that's half the reason that all the people reading this are getting aroused is because money. Also, like, okay, you can tell that this is a middle-aged woman's wealth porn fantasy because it's all shit, like, extraneous shit. It's not like, you know, if, it, if this was a wealth porn millennial fantasy, it'd be like, you know... A nicely furnished two-story house, maybe, that, like, <laughs> with a dog. He, he would just, you know, cats. mention, he would offhand mention that he's paid off his student loans, <laughs> you know? <laughs> no student loans can can comfortably um, go on vacations yeah. once a year. Anastasia, I can pay your student loans. <laughs> Take me, take rips me off her shirt. <laughs> take me, slap me, flap. Which I mean, I can, I can get fair. you a job that has benefits. <laughs> we have dental. <laughs> oh, yes, we have hand. dental oh, and nipples harden <laughs> and optical. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> Nuts right there, a hey goes. I mean, he does offer her a job, but he doesn't mention any of that. Yeah. <laughs> If he did that, <laughs> it's all like, you know, you can live comfortably and you'll have dental. <laughs> the ultimate fantasy. <laughs> Do I look different? I feel different. I feel a little sore, if I'm honest. And my muscles. Jeez, it's like I've never done any exercise in my life. Okay, accurate. <laughs> <laughs> You don't do any exercise in your life. <laughs> my subconscious has woken. She's staring at me with pursed lips, tapping her foot. So you just slept with him, giving your virginity a man who to wait. Oh, giving him your virginity, a man who doesn't love you. In fact, he has very odd ideas about you, wants to make you some sort of kinky sex slave. Are you crazy? She's shouting at me. I wince as I look in the mirror. Uh, Twilight was better. Ain't nothing fucking wrong with that, though. It is totally fine if your first encounter is just some guy who wants to basically give you a ton of stuff to have. Like, if that's what you're into, there's, like, nothing technically wrong with that. Anastasia's an idiot. But technically, there's nothing wrong with losing your virginity to whoever you want to lose it to. I... As long as you're safe. I'm just kind of stunned at the fact that her sub- even- she's yelling at herself so much. There's so much negative self-talk here. This is not a healthy attitude to have toward oneself. Well, yeah, yeah, and yeah. She, she very much talks like a fucking middle-aged woman who's just yeah. all like, Your virginity is so important! Yeah, it's, <laughs> oh. it's- shut the fuck up, Erica. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> we are a sex-positive channel here. <laughs> I wince as I look in the mirror. I am going to have to process all this. Honestly, fancy falling for a man who's beyond beautiful- Fancy, fucking fire your localist. Falling for a man who's beyond beautiful, richer than- Richer than- Crace? Croesus? Who the fuck is that? I don't even know. Who the fuck is Croesus? Is it- is it Croissant Jesus? 
Is that what it is? Croesus? The um, Holy Crystal? The Holy Crystal? I don't know, honestly. I I don't know that reference. I'm very yeah, rusty either. on my uh it my looks classic Greek? literature. Yeah. I don't know. I'm I'm just gonna assume it's croissant Jesus who has many croissants. I, I feel like the better analogy to make would have been Midas. Yeah. Um, because that's when people know. But 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 what do I know? And has a red room of pain waiting for me. I shudder. I'm bewildered and confused. My hair is its usual wayward self. Just fucked hair doesn't suit me. I try to bring order to the chaos with my fingers, but I fail miserably I, and give up. I thought her hair was its usual self. Usual wayward self. So. <laughs> Not just Does fucked. she always have just fucked hair? I guess so. Maybe I'll find hair ties in my purse. I'm starving. I head back out to the bedroom. Sleeping Beauty is still sleeping, so I leave him and head for the kitchen. Oh no, Kate. I left my purse in... Nipples Harden's study. I fetch it and reach for my cell phone. Three texts. Are you okay, Anna? Where are you, Anna? Damn it, Anna. I call Kate. When she doesn't answer, I leave her a groveling message to tell her I am alive and have not succumbed to Bluebeard. Well, not in the sense she she would be worried about. Or perhaps I have. Oh, this is so confusing. I have to try to categorize and analyze my feelings for Alba Lionfist. It's, <laughs> it's an impossible task. I shake my head in defeat. I need alone time away from here to think. I find two welcome hair ties at the same time in my bag and quickly tie my hair in pigtails. Oh no, the handlebars. <laughs> I can ride my bike with no handlebars. No handlebars. <laughs> I had that song memorized at one point. Let's see if I just still do. Yes, the more girly I look, perhaps the safer I'll be from Bluebeard. No! <laughs> uh, wasn't Bluebeard a pedo? N no, but... Oh, okay. Also, fire. <laughs> yeah! Holy shit. I take my iPod out of the bag and plug my headphones in. There's nothing like music to cook by. I slip it into the breast pocket of Spongebob Squarepants' shirt, turn it up loud, and start dancing. Holy hell, I'm hungry. I am daunted by his oh, kitchen. Oh, I'm so hungry. Let me exercise a lot. Yeah. I am daunted by his kitchen. It's so sleek and modern, and none of the cupboards has a handle. Did I just fucking type that? Did I just fucking see that? None of the cupboards has handles. That is that is legitimately yes. I see you furiously <laughs> wanking Avalon. <laughs> has handles. Money porn. Fucking typos. Fuck you. <sighs> no one's allowed to bitch about typos in my books. Okay. <laughs> None of the cupboards has handles. It takes me a few seconds to deduce that I have to push the cupboard doors open to open them. Perhaps I should cook two pump chump breakfast. He was eating an omelet the other day, um, yesterday, at the Heathman. Jeez, so much has happened since then. I check in the fridge, where there are plenty of eggs, and decide I want pancakes and bacon. I set about making some batter, dancing my way around the kitchen. Being busy is good. It allows a bit of time to think, but not too deeply. You Maybe don't think deeply, Anna. You don't, I'm sorry. Music blaring in my ears also helps to stave off deep thought. I came here to spend the night in depressing pussy sniffs bed and managed it, even though he doesn't let anyone in his bed. I smile, mission accomplished, big time. I grin, big, big time, and I'm distracted by the memory of last night. His words, his body, his love making. dot, dot, dot. <laughs> I grin. Excuse me, excuse me. He doesn't make love. He fucks hard. I close my eyes as my body hums at the recollection. <laughs> Just like on switch. And my she, she turns into the fucking the SFX noise. Oh no! O T H S the or T H X yeah. The audience is no doubt. <laughs> oh lord. Um. I close my eyes as my body hums at the recollection, and my muscles contract deliciously deep in my belly. <laughs> oh god, she's having a contraction! Must be with you. Oh, no, sorry. <laughs> sorry, it's just penis be with you. I... Pussy be with you. <laughs> pussy but, be with no, you. pussy be with you too, if that's what you're into. My subconscious scowls at me. Dot, dot, dot. Fucking not love making. She screams at me <laughs> like a harpy. I, I like I like when the subconscious does my job for me. 
I ignore her, but deep down I know she has a point. I shake my, ha my head to concentrate on the task at hand. I'm gonna hand this off to one of you because my throat's getting tired of all oh, of this bullshit. You want it? <laughs> sure. Okay, it's uh, here. All right. <clears throat> there was a state-of-the-art range. I think I got. I have the hang of it. I need somewhere to keep to keep the pancakes warm, and I start on the bacon. Amy Stutt is singing uh, in my ear about misfits. This song used to mean so much to me. Beca that's because I'm a misfit. I'm just like really? all other girls. I have never fitted in anywhere, and now I have an indep I have an indecent proposal to consider myself uh, to consider from King Misfit himself. Why is he this way? Nature or nurture? It's so alien to anything I know. Uh, I don't know. I don't really buy her being, like, a total misfit. She seems fairly normal. The only thing that seems abnormal is how fucking dumb she is. She seems like your average hipster. Yeah, she has friends. Yeah. Uh, I put the bacon under the grill, and while it's cooking, I whisk some eggs. I turn, and Christian is sitting on one of the- Who? Or- Naked Piano Man <laughs> is sit sitting on one of the bar stools at the breakfast bar, leaning onto it, his face supported by his steepled hands. It's just a super villain <laughs> shit right there. He's still wearing the t-shirt he slept in. Just fucked hair really, really suits him, as does his designer stubble. He looks both amused and bewildered. I freeze, flush, then gather myself and pull the headphones out of my ears, my knees weak at the sight of him. Arms are heavy. There's vomit on his sweater already. <laughs> Mom's, Mom's spaghetti. spaghetti. She's nervous, but on the surface, she's calm and ready to drop bombs. Are you done? Yes. <laughs> okay. I want to be anywhere but here. <laughs> Good morning, Miss Steele. You're very energetic this morning, he says dryly. Morning, morning. I, I slept well. I stutter my explanation. His lips try to mask his smile. What? Just smile, Christian. His God. lips try to mask his smile. Oh, so that's where all those ghosts keep coming from. <laughs> I can't imagine why. He pauses and frowns. So, so did I after I came back to bed. Came. Back to uh... bed. Are you very- are you hungry? Very, he says with an intense look, and I don't think he's referring to food. Mmm, thanks for spelling that out. Pancakes, bacon, and eggs? Sounds great. I don't know where you keep your placemats, I shrug, trying desperately to not look flustered. I'll do that. You cook. Would you like me to put some music on so you can continue your, uh, dancing? What a dick. Yeah... I stare down at my fingers, knowing I am turning puce. Wait, I thought puce was like a greenish color. No, it's like, um, reddish purple. Oh, okay. Well, that still sounds a little unhealthy, but Well, okay. then what is it's chartreuse? Like a, it's like a pink. Chartreuse, chartreuse is, green. is green. Oh. What are colors? Also, I guess we can add puce to our, uh, color flags. It's more pinkish purple, honestly, than it is, like, it's not... Well, we can still say it. It's more magenta y. Oh, yeah. I'll say magenta too. Yeah. Okay. Please don't uh or please don't stop on my account. It's very entertaining. His tone was one of wry amusement. Wow, what a dick. <laughs> Now I'm just imagining your dad, like, staring at me when I was doing that stupid cinnamon roll dance until I realized I was doing it, and then he just laughed, like, for five minutes. <laughs> he was very- he was having a good time with your little cinnamon roll dance. <laughs> I can't always control what my body does. <laughs> little cinnamon roll shuffle. I was really excited. I mean, it's a fucking cinnamon roll. Like, that's fair, dude. If you don't start dancing with happiness when you see a cinnamon roll that you get to eat, I don't know what's going on with My you. dad loves to come up with cinnamon rolls, man. Uh, oh, cinnamon. That's another color we can use. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Well, it's like a brownish red. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's mahogany is in there, so. Mahogany. Yeah. Anyway, um... I purse my lips. Entertaining, eh? My subconscious has doubled over in laughter at me. 
I continued to I turned and continued to whisk the eggs, probably beating them a little harder than necessary. <laughs> In a moment he's beside me, he gently pulls my pigtail. I love these, he whispers. They won't protect you. Hmm. Bluebeard. Hmm. <laughs> what is with the bluebeard references? How would you like your eggs? I asked tartly. He smiles. Thoroughly whisked and beaten, he smirks. <sighs> Shut the fuck up! <laughs> God. <laughs> we get it. This, this is kinky. so unsexy. I turn back at, to the task at hand, trying to hide my smile. He's hard to stay mad at, especially when he's being so uncharacteristically playful. Um, that's a word for it. He opens a drawer and takes out two slate bl- black placemats for the breakfast bar. <clears throat> I pour the egg mi- mix into a pan, pull out the bacon, turn it over, and put it back under the grill. When I turn back around, there is, or- there is orange juice on the table, and he's making coffee. Would you like some tea? Yes, please, if you, if you have some. I find a couple of plates and place them on the warming tray. Twilight was better. Excuse me. Would you like some tea? Yes, if you have some. I don't, actually. I was just offering to piss you off. The fuck? (laughs) What are these exchanges? I don't know. I find a couple plates and place them in the warming tray of the range. Christian reaches into a cupboard and pulls out some Twinnings English breakfast tea. I purse my lips. Bit of a foregone er, conclusion, wasn't I? Are you? I'm not sure we've concluded anything yet, Miss Steele, he murmurs. What does he mean by that? Our negotiations? Our er, relationship? Whatever that is? He's he's still so cryptic. I serve up the breakfast onto onto the heated plates and lay them on the placemats. Avalon is just kind of like quietly screaming here next to me. Just I know y'all can't see, but she's just like have her had her head in her hands. Yeah. <laughs> what does he mean by that? I just what else? What else, you dumb bitch? Anyway, um, I hunt the in the refrigerator and find some maple syrup. I glance up at Christian, and he's waiting for me to sit down. Miss Steele, he motions to one of the bar stools. Mr. Gray, or Mr. Creeps Pedo Pants. <laughs> I had cure for this chapter. I nod in acknowledgement. I climb up and wince slightly as I sit down. Just how sore are you? He sits down. He asks as he sits down. I flush. Why does he ask such personal questions? Okay, Twilight was better. Just kind of a quick... I don't know, this is kind of something that, like, irks me a little bit. The thing about, like, you know, being sore after you haven't had sex in a while or if it's your first time, yeah, that's pretty true in my experience. But, like, I don't know where everybody is getting the whole idea that, like, it's your vagoo that's sore. Because it's not. It's like all the muscles that you don't generally work, like your hips and your back and stuff and your thighs. That's what gets sore. Like, I don't know why the fuck this whole, you know, oh, your vagoo is like super hurting all of a sudden. I don't know where the fuck that comes from, but in my experience, that's really not true. Did they Did they do anal? Did they do anal? Oh my god. No, we would have heard about it. I'm sure we would have known. <laughs> there would have been a lot of holy cows about that, I'm sure. Maybe even a couple of gollies thrown in. I don't think actually Anastasia does anal throughout the entirety of this book series. You know what? She, sh- I, 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 I would actually like that. Would be something that's actually not totally vanilla. Like, yeah, yeah. like <laughs> do anal Anastasia. Like pretty much all he ever does is like tie her up and spank her. Well, there was that one variety of things. <laughs> that one time with the Benoit balls and Fifty Shades Darker, but. Immediately, she was like, those aren't going in my butt. <laughs> Admittedly, that was the best fucking line in any of the three movies. <laughs> Admittedly. <laughs> okay, no, the balls were actually, like, kinky shit. <laughs> yeah. Why were they- okay, we're, we'll get to that, possibly. I don't know, but- <laughs> the, They aren't gonna go in your butt. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, what are they for, then? Oh, bitch, <laughs> how many holes you got? <laughs> You got two left and you're about to go out in public. I think you can guess. <laughs> Process of elimination is a lifesaver. 
<laughs> Do they go in my nose? <laughs> Anyway, well, to be truthful, I have nothing to compare this, or, well, ne never mind. Just how sore are you, he asked. I sit down and flush. Why does he have to ask such personal questions? Well, to be truthful, I have nothing to compare this to, I snap at him. Did you wish to offer your commiserations? I ask too sweetly. I think he's trying to stifle a smile, but I can't be sure. What the fuck? No, I wondered if we should continue your basic training. Oh, I stare at him dumbfounded, and I stop breathing as I, as everything inside me clenches tight. Jesus! Oh, that's so nice. That's my reaction also, but I don't think for the same reason. That's so nice. I suppress my groan. <laughs> He's not even touching her. Did she literally just have an... <laughs> no, uh, well, I thought that it was like a dread thing because she's like, oh no, he's gonna do the kinky things with me. I am obligated to do this now somehow. I, I thought that that was like a dread thing. And, you know, by the way, fire truck. Yeah. No, apparently she just has some kind of rare medical condition where all it takes is a word and like <laughs> a gentle asking. breeze blew in the window and I jizzed in, in my, my pants. pants. <laughs> okay. Um, I ate a grape and I jizzed in. <laughs> Eat, Anastasia. My appetite has become uncertain again. More. More. More sex. Yes, please. Uh, this is delicious, incidentally. He grins at me. I try a forkful of omelette, but can barely taste it. T basic training. I want to fuck your mouth. Does that for- Is that some form- Is that- Does that form part of basic training? What a terrible sentence that was. That, yeah, that's awkward. Stop biting your lip. It's very distracting. And I happen to know you're not wearing anything under my shirt, which makes it even more distracting. I dunk my tea bag in the small pot that uh, foot cramp death <laughs> provided. Has provided. My mind is in a whirl. What sort of basic training did you have in mind, I ask. My voice is slightly too high. Oh, wait a second. Let me read re read that. What sort of basic training did you have in mind? <laughs> <laughs> I ask, my voice slightly too high, betraying my wish to sound as natural, disinterested, and calm as I can with my hormones wreaking havoc through, through my body. Okay. What is happening? <laughs> Twilight was better. I just... The fact that they've already had sex and she feels the need to be, like, you know, coy and to, like, play hard to get and beat around the bush. And the fact that she doesn't, you know, feel like she can just express, oh, yeah, I totally want to have sex with you some more. That just is really fucking strange to me. Like, I can understand if it's, like, you know, the first day, if they're still kind of getting to know each other. But, like, no, nah, man, the... They've already had sex. Like, what the fuck is wrong with just being like, yeah, I totally want to bone you some more. That was pretty fun. Hey, let's do this again. Like, ah. you need to chill, Anna. God. Okay, sorry, continue. Okay. <clears throat> well, as you're sore, I thought we could stick to oral skills. I choke on my tea and I stare <laughs> at him. Failed. Eyes <laughs> wide and mouth <laughs> gaping. He gently pat he pats me gently on the back and presses me and passes me some orange juice. I cannot tell what he's thinking. Um, I, it's pretty clear. <laughs> That's if you want to stay, he adds. I glance up at him, trying to recover my equilibrium. Okay. <laughs> His expression is unreadable. It's so frustrating. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to stay for today, if that's okay. I have work tomorrow. What time do you have to be at work tomorrow? Nine. I'll get you to work by nine tomorrow. I frown. Does he want me to stay another night? Obviously. <sighs> Duh. Why can't these two talk like normal people? Because Anastasia literally cannot follow a conversation for more than two seconds. She's a goldfish, I think. She's a goldfish. You know what? My theory about short-term memory loss is just, like, becoming more and more plausible. <laughs> I'll need to get home tonight. I need clean clothes. We can get you some here. 
I don't have spare cash to spend on clothes. His hand comes up and he grasps my chin, tugging it so my lip is released from the grip of my teeth. I'm not even aware I've been biting my lip. What is it? He asks. I need to be home this evening. His mouth is a hard line. Okay, this evening, he acquiesces. Now eat your breakfast. Oh, God. Scarlet, ruby, rose, magenta, every red. <sighs> my thoughts and my stomach are in turmoil. My appetite has vanished. I stare at my half-eaten breakfast. I'm just not hungry. Eat, Anastasia. You didn't eat last night. I'm really not hungry, I whisper. His eyes narrow. I would really like you to finish your breakfast. How many times are they going to have this argument? <laughs> what is it with you and food? I blurt out his brown knits. I told you I have issues with wasted food. Eat, he snaps. His eyes are dark, pained. Puce! Jesus Christ! Okay, I'll hold it, hand this off to... I'll take it. I haven't read yet. Yeah. Holy crap! What is You're that so all up. about? I pick up my fork and eat slowly, trying to chew, and now for the part that triggers Owl. <laughs> I must remember not to put so much on my plate if he's going to be weird about food. Twilight was better. No! No! He needs to not be weird about food. Yeah, you he's don't the wrong need, here. You don't need to learn how to accommodate his abusive behaviors. He needs to stop. Like, yeah, she like, should be out the door right now. Yeah, like, I I feel awkward, too, like, eating around people that aren't eating, but that onus is on me if, like, I want to eat something and no one else is hungry. So, it's like, dude can just fucking go in another room if he's going to be a little bitch about it, or eat the food himself. <laughs> yeah, and it's like, well, they always make so much food, too. She made eggs, pancakes, and bacon. Yeah, it's Have all you like, ever had a three-course breakfast like that? Yeah, it's either eggs and bacon or it's pancakes, unless, like, you want to... You want to get really, really fat. <laughs> just go whole hog. Like, I'm just like, oh, that, that sounds so heavy. And I'm someone, I'm one of those people who can't really eat, like, a lot of food early in the morning. So I'm just all like, uh, just one of those things is, like, enough. Like, that's the kind of breakfast spread that I dream about, but could never actually eat. Yeah. Whatever. Fucking... His expression softens as I carefully make my way through my breakfast. I note that he cleans his plate. He waits for me to finish, and then he clears my plate. You cooked all clear. That's very democratic. What? That's not what democracy is. Democratic would be if you talked about it beforehand. Yeah. Yes, he frowns. Not my usual style. After I've done this, we'll take a bath. Oh, okay. He just makes that decision for her. Again. Oh my, I'd much rather have a shower. My, she doesn't say that, she's just thinking like, I guess I'll just do whatever he says. <sighs> my cell rings, interrupting my reverie. It's Kate. Hi, I wander over to the glass doors of the balcony, away from him. Oh no, why didn't you text last night? She's angry. I'm sorry, I was overtaken by events. You're okay? Yes, I'm fine. Did you? She's fishing for information. I roll my eyes at the expectation in her voice. Kate, I don't want to talk over the phone. Robert Pattinson glances up at me. <laughs> you did. I can tell. How can she tell? She's bluffing, and I can't talk about this. I've signed a damned agreement. <sighs> Gaze upon my field and see all the red flags. <laughs> so many of them. Kate, please. What was it like? Are you okay? I've told you I'm okay. Was he gentle? Kate, please. I can't hide my exasperation. Anna, don't hold out on me. I've been waiting for this day for nearly four years. Whoa. Okay, Kate. That's the... Calm down, girl. Calm down, girl. Calm down. I'll see you this evening. I hang up. This is going to be one difficult square to circle. It's technically a it's technically a saying, but it's kind of a it's kind of an old saying, so Erica Erica. Erica. She's so tenacious and she wants to know in detail, and I can't tell her because I've signed a what was it called? NDA. She'll freak out and rightly so. I need a plan. 
I Magenta. Head, I head back to watch Edward Cullen move gracefully around his kitchen. The NDA, does it cover everything? I ask tentatively. Why? He turns and gazes at me while putting the twinnings away. I flush. Well, I have a few questions, you know, about sex. I stare down at my fingers, and I'd like to ask Kate. You can ask me. Ah! Um, uh, uh, puce. Fucking blush. Brick. Communist manifesto. <laughs> Jamie Dornan, with all due respect, <laughs> my voice fades. I can't ask you. I'll get your biased, kinky as hell, distorted worldview regarding sex. I want an impartial opinion. Wow. <laughs> Are you suggesting that, that Kate isn't into some shit? Well, moreover, she acknowledges that she doesn't want his views on it, but they still here, though. Yeah. It's just about mechanics. I won't mention the Red Room of Pain. He raises his eyebrows. Red Room of Pain. It's mostly about pleasure, Anastasia. Believe me, Shut he the says. Fuck up. Besides, his tone is harsher. Your roommate is making the beast with two backs with my brother. I'd really <sighs> rather you didn't. Um, Erica! What the fuck? Who the fuck says beast with two backs anymore? Does your family know about your um predilection? My god, she's treating it like a medical condition. No, it's none of their business. And rightly so. You don't go up to your parents and be like, by the way. <laughs> Hello, family. Hey, you remember all that times you spanked me as a kid? Let me do back to, let me tell you something that's about to make that real fucking weird in hindsight. <laughs> what, what do you want to know, he asks, and raising his hand, runs his fingers gently down my cheek to my chin, tilting my head back so he can look directly into my eyes. I squirm inwardly. I cannot lie to this man. Nothing specific at the moment, I whisper. Well, we can start with, how was last night for you? His eyes burn, filled with curiosity. He's anxious to know. Wow. Oh no, laser eyes, they return. New. Good, I murmur. His lips lift slightly. Me too, he murmurs. I need hashtag me too right now. <laughs> I am uncomfortable, I need an adult. I've never had vanilla sex before. Bullshit. There's a lot to be said for it, but then maybe it's because it's with you. He runs his thumb across my lower lip. Uh, I, I'm sorry, like, I really don't like the, oh, I've never done this, but it's alright if it's with you trope. Because I'm just all like, huh, well, okay. For, for all she knows, he's lying. Yeah. This sounds like something that a pickup artist yeah. would say. That's because, that's why I'm, like, wary of it, because, like, if it's from, like, if it's from a person in real life, especially, like, nine times out of ten, that's a lie. That's, that's a motherfucking lie. <laughs> never trust anybody who says, oh, I've never done this, ex and but it's alright if it's with you, because I'm sure that person said, it, to, said that to someone else before. There's a difference between just, I've never done this, and... Adding, but it's okay with you onto it. That last part, that's the danger zone. That's the danger zone. That's when that's when you cross over into the danger zone. I feel like we need the Twilight Zone theme. Yeah. <laughs> Except distorted. <laughs> you feel slightly uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> Slow down Twilight Zone theme. In the front zone. <laughs> <laughs> I inhale sharply. Vanilla sex? <gasps> Vanilla sex? <gasps> What about chocolate sex? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> That's no. That that was that was a no go in the contract. Remember, no. Can't have chocolate sex, and you can't have I don't know, fucking whatever yellow is lemon. Where did it say that in the contract? No scat. Oh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. That's not what I thought it was, but okay. <laughs> Come, let's have a bath. He leans down and kisses me. My heart leaps and desire pools way down low. Way down there. Down there! The bath is white stone. Oh. Charming. It's white. White stone bath. Is a white stone deep egg-shaped affair. Very designer. <laughs> deep. Egg shaped. That's one way to describe a bathtub. That's so stupid! Oh, oh no. Alright, hang on. Ugh. 
We gotta get in position for this one. Oh, <clears throat> oh no. Glory, greatest mother proud! <laughs> Leans over and fills up a faucet on the tile wall. I tried. I, I tried. You did it! <laughs> did it. He pours it. You gotta sit upright for that one. <laughs> He pours some expensive-looking bath oil into the water. It foams as the bath fills and smells of sweet, sultry- Yes, that is what bubble bath does. <laughs> smells of sweet, sultry jasmine. Let me introduce you to my favorite sex toy, Mr. Bubbles. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he almost put ice cream up there. Don't! <laughs> oh, no! He's- Now we're gonna get you really clean, Miss Steele. <laughs> Mr. Clean, Mr. Clean. <laughs> That's not bubbles, you piece of Yay. shit. It's a bath related joke, okay? <laughs> All I can imagine is just point. fucking Mr. Clean breaking on it. And being he like, just materializes behind him. <laughs> Mr. Clean, Mr. Clean. <laughs> Nothing personal, kid. <laughs> and he just like shoves a bar of soap down. Christian Grey's throat he dies immediately. <laughs> I mean, honestly, I'm sure Anna would be much happier with Mr. Clean. <laughs> Mr. Clean, Mr. Clean. I'd, I'd certainly rather fuck Mr. Clean than Christian fucking Mr. Grey. Mr. Clean is ten times the top that <laughs> King of Five Nights at Freddy's is, okay? <laughs> it's gotten to the point where instead of... I'm just gonna use these names even when we aren't reading it. <laughs> just any reference to him at all. Okay. He stands and gazes at me, his eyes dark. Ben peels his t-shirt off and <laughs> peels off and casts it onto the floor. Miss Steele, he holds his hand <laughs> out. Sorry, when you said that, I, was just, I just heard the miss and I was just like, Mr. Clean, Mr. <laughs> Clean. <laughs> do, do we need to do we need to replace every instance of Miss Steele with Mr. Clean now? Is that what we gotta do? <laughs> We're doing it. <laughs> This the has memes. evolved far the beyond the original scope. <laughs> I'm standing in the doorway. I don't know why. <laughs> we got the giggles Mr. now. <laughs> well, no, I, I just read I'm standing in the doorway and all I thought of was standing in front of you. You're standing in front of me. <laughs> I don't know what that quote is. I've forgotten it. <laughs> There's nothing anymore inside of our brains. <laughs> this book has destroyed us. I'm standing in the doorway, wide-eyed and wary, rather like a deer. My arms wrapped around <laughs> oh, I'm in this book. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I could just say anything I want at this point, and you guys would absolutely believe that it was in the book. Because I mean, rather like a deer was not in the book, but would you think so? <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> You fucking got me! I could do whatever I want with these losers now. <laughs> well, now I'm just gonna be watching the book to make sure you're actually reading it correctly. Thanks for okay, making me Okay, Jamie, paranoid. you look away. I mean, I, I, I'm I, bored out of my fucking mind right now, so you ain't gotta tell me twice. You look away, and you see if you can spot where it's my embellishments. Okay, alright. <laughs> this is what we're doing now. I'm so bored. Wide-eyed and wary, my arms wrapped around myself. I step forward while surreptitiously admiring his physique. I take his hand and he bids me to step into the bath while I am still wearing his shirt. I do as I'm told. I'll have to get used to it if I'm going to take him up on his outrageous offer. If. The water is enticingly hot. Turn around, face me, he orders, his voice soft. She takes his hand and gets in the water. She is now faced away from him. Somehow? When? <laughs> he, like, fucking twisted her arm around her back. He, like, got <laughs> He's just holding her, like, freaking, like, you know, that thing. Like, that. Yeah, like, like he's yeah, got her, like, police. <laughs> She's police like, style. wow, I'm really uncomfortable. Get your hands where I can see him, Mr. Clean. <laughs> I know that lip is delicious. I can attest to that. But will you Try stop? the lips, they're delicious! Sorry. I hate my life. No, she, no! Try the great stuff! It still works! Get out. Wow, I really <laughs> hate myself and want to die right now. Bye. Mr. Mr. Beast is coming here to give me comfort in my time of need. 
As long as it's not Mr. Clean, you're okay. No. Get the fuck out of our apartment, Janie. Oh, you mean I don't have to fucking do this anymore? Fucking bye, bitch. <laughs> no! <laughs> Get back in here, you bitch! A long episode. <laughs> I was about to get up and lock it, <laughs> but you came back to back. Continue. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. We we're silly tonight. I'm sorry. We didn't get our giggles out beforehand, and this is yeah. our punishment. He says through clenched teeth, "You're chewing it. Makes me want to fuck you, and you're sore. Okay. <laughs> Not embellished." I gasp, automatically unlocking my lip. <laughs> yeah, he challenges, get the picture. He glares at me and <laughs> nod frantically. I had no idea I could affect him so. Good. He reaches forward and takes my iPod out of the breast pocket and he puts it. So she just got in there with her iPod still in. Is she still wearing the shirt? Yeah. yeah. In the bath? Yeah, she mentioned that. Wow. But she got in, in the shirt, with the iPod still in the Bitch pocket. gonna get electrocuted. And I won't even care. <laughs> Water and iPods, not a clever combination, he muttered. <laughs> you could have, like, just given us the belief that our protagonist wasn't that stupid. Because I'd forgotten about the iPod by now. But no. <sighs> Gotta call her out, I guess. He reaches down, grasps the hem of my white shirt, lifts it above my head, and discards it on the floor. He stands back to gaze at me. I'm naked for heaven's sake. I flush crimson and stare down at my hands, level with the base of my belly, and I desperately want to disappear into the hot water and foam, but I know he won't want that. Ooh, fire truck. Hey, he summons me. I peek up at him, and his head is cocked to one side. Anastasia, you're a very beautiful woman. The whole package. Don't hang your head like you're ashamed. You have nothing to be ashamed of. It's a real joy to stand here and gaze at you. He takes my chin in his hand and tilts my head up to reach his eyes. Chapped head a little. <laughs> Whenever I stop reading, just imagine the most bewildered expression. <laughs> they are soft and warm, heated even. Not burning? He's so close, I could just reach up and touch him. You can sit down now. He halts my scattered thoughts, and I scoot down into the warm, welcoming water. Ooh, it stings, and that takes me by surprise, but it's- why? Wait, what? Why is it stinging? But it's- it's hot, I guess? I don't know. But it smells heavenly, too. The initial smarting pain soon ebbs away. I lie back and briefly close- I lie back and think of England. <laughs> I lie back and briefly close my eyes, relaxing into the soothing warmth. When I open them, he's gazing down at me. Why don't you join me, I ask. Bravely, I think. My voice, husky. I think I will. Move forward, he orders. He strips out of his PJ pants and climbs in behind me. The water rises as he sits and pulls me against his chest. He places his long legs over mine. Wait, I thought he was already in the bath before her, because nope. then he pulled her in. I have no idea what the choreography what of this is. What is the blocking in this? What happened? He places his long legs over mine, his knees bent and his ankles level with mine, and he pulls his feet apart, opening my legs. What is the choreography? That's just extremely awkward. I gasp in surprise. His nose is in my hair and he inhales deeply. Which one of you bitches is gonna do it? There we go. You smell so good, Anastasia. <laughs> A tremor runs through my whole body. I am naked, in a bath, with Fazbear Pizza Man. <laughs> He's naked! If someone had told me I'd be doing this when I woke up in his hotel suite yesterday, I would not have believed them. You're fucking 12, dude. You are 12 years old. I'm naked, oh my god! <laughs> he reaches for a bottle of body wash from the built-in shelf beside the bath and squirts some into his hand. He rubs his hands together, creating a soft, foaming lather, and he closes his hands around my neck. And just oh. chokes me the fuck <laughs> <laughs> And starts to rub the soap into my neck and shoulders, massaging firmly with his long, strong fingers. I yeah. groan. His hands on me feel good. You like that? I can almost hear his smile. Hmm. <laughs> he moves down my arms, then beneath them to my underarms, washing gently. I'm so glad Kate insisted I shave. 
His hands glide across to my breast, and I inhale sharply as his fingers encircle them and start kneading gently, like a cat. <laughs> Why would you- he just kind of pawing like, like he's making biscuits on her- on her titties. Embellishment. The actual oh, okay. line is taking no prisoners. That's worse! <laughs> Let's not embellish anymore. I'm too tired for this. Alright, alright. I'll have more fun next time. My body bows instinctively, pushing my breasts into his hands. My nipples are tender, very tender, no doubt, from his less than delicate treatment of them last night. He doesn't linger long and glides his hands down to my stomach and belly. Oh, we should probably have a stopwatch ready. Oh. My breathing increases and my heart is racing. His growing erection presses against my behind. It's such a turn on knowing that it's my body making him feel this way. Huh, not your mind, my subconscious sneers. I shake off the unwelcome thought. What the fuck? He stops and reaches for a washcloth as I pant against him, wanting, needing. My hands rest on his firm, muscular thighs. Squirting more soap onto the washcloth, he leans down and washes between my legs. No! No, no! <laughs> don't use soap down there! Don't do it. Are you telling me you don't wash? Not with freaking soap on your vagina. How do you get clean? You know what? This is getting too TMI. Never mind. What? Just water. Just water. Y'all don't hygiene. Do what not use soap that is meant for your arms and like outer extremities on your delicate places. That's the reason why it says for external use only. His fingers skillfully stimulating me through the cloth, it's heavenly, and my hips start moving at their own rhythm, pushing against his hand. As the sensations take over, I tilt my head back, my eyes rolling to the back of my head. My mouth slack and I groan. The pressure is building slowly, inexorably inside me. Oh my. You say fuck. Feel it, baby. <laughs> oh my god. Get the fuck out of my line! <laughs> whispers in my ear and very gently grazes my earlobe with his teeth. Feel it for me. My legs are pinioned to by his to the side of the bath. Pinioned once prisoner, again. She keeps using that word. <laughs> giving him easy access to this most private part of myself. Oh, please, I whisper. I try to stiffen my legs as my body goes rigid. I am in a sexual thrall to this man, and he doesn't let me move. I think you're clean enough now, he murmurs, and he stops. What? No, no, no. My, bre my breathing is ragged. Why are you stopping, I gasp. Because I have other plans for you, Anastasia. What? Oh my, but I was... That's not fair. Turn around. I need washing too, he murmurs. Oh, turning to face him, I'm shocked to find he has his erection firmly in his grasp. <laughs> <laughs> my mouth drops open. I want you to become well acquainted, on first name terms, if you will, with my favorite and most cherished part of my body. I'm very what? attached to this. You're oh, embellishing, yes. right? No. no. That's- Are you shitting? We stopped embellishing, remember? There it is. I remember <laughs> this line. This is my favorite part of my body. A little <gasps> dark hard pack. It's so big and growing. I'm it's done here, guys. <laughs> I We've had a good run. I'm- his erection is above the water line, the water lapping at his hips. Oh, it's small. <laughs> if the water is lapping at his hips and his dick is like just above it, then... Yeah, that's not super No impressive. offense to people with small dicks. You guys, I'm sure, can do some amazing stuff. But it's so she, well, big. Well, yeah, when she makes a point of it being... <laughs> I glance up at him and come face to face with this wicked grin. He's enjoying my astounded expression. I realize that I'm staring. I swallow. That was inside me. It doesn't seem possible. He wants me to touch him. Hmm. Okay, bring it on. <laughs> Jamie's dead. I was just laughing because it's like, it doesn't seem possible. And I'm all like... <laughs> You know, considering the last conversation about how big his dick must be. I'm just all like, oh, well. Uh, this I, is just so not sexy. I smile at him and reach for the body wash, squirting some soap onto my hand. <laughs> <laughs> I hope the mic picked that up. 
I'm so tired. <laughs> I do as he's done, lathering the soap in my hands until they're foamy. I do not take my eyes off his. My lips <laughs> direct eye contact the whole time. <laughs> it's not even nine o'clock and I'm already tired. <laughs> My lips are parted to accommodate my breathing. Very deliberately, I gently bite my bottom lip and then run my tongue across it, tracing where my teeth have been. Um, across your bottom lip? No, it's only it's only if you go across the top lip that it's sexy. Otherwise, you just kind of look like you're trying to like get a spot of food off your chin. Uh, Jesus Christ, Avalon, don't demonstrate. <laughs> I reach forward and place one of my hands around him, mirroring how he's holding himself. His eyes close briefly. Wow, feels much firmer than I expected. I squeeze and he places his hand over mine. Like this, he whispers, and he moves his hand up and down with a firm Don't grip around my finger. Don't fucking squeeze the dick. It just like... <laughs> crushes choke, it instantly. Choke that chicken. <laughs> and my fingers tighten around him. He closes his eyes again and his breath hitches in his throat. When he opens them again, his gaze is a scorching molten gray. No tigers? No? no I just, just, I just end this. Let's go. Deal. That's right, baby. <laughs> he releases my hand, leaving me to continue alone and closes his eyes as I move up and down his length. He flexes his hips slightly into my hand and reflexively I grasp him tighter. A low groan escapes from deep within his throat. Fuck my mouth. Hmm. Mm. I remember him pushing his thumb in my mouth and asking me to suck hard. His mouth drops open as his breathing increases. I lean forward while he has his eyes closed and place my lips around him and tentatively suck, running my tongue over the tip. Whoa, Anna. His eyes fly open and I suck harder. Hmm. Mm. He's hard and soft at once, like what? steel encased in velvet, and surprisingly tasty, salty and smooth. Christ, he groans and he closes his eyes again. Moving down, I push him into my mouth. He groans again. Ha! Huh, my inner goddess is thrilled. Oh, penis be with you? And, and also, also with, with you. you. I can do this. I can fuck him with my mouth. I twirl my tongue around the tip again, and he flexes. Should we be doing a countdown, or? Oh, yeah, fuck, I forgot. Also, just a quick side note. Bitch, this ain't face fucking. Don't fucking, don't fucking lure me in with promises about getting your mouth fucked, and then fucking cuck me like this. Bitch. Not even. This is a blowjob, not a face fuck. Go fuck yourself. All right. Anyway, starting the stopwatch. Okay. Uh, what should we do for this? Well, what should we do for this uh, sex scene? Should we do the? I'd say just get it over. I'm with. just gonna read it, and you guys do whatever, and I'll try not to laugh. Okay. All right. Let's let's just make the nastiest sound effects we can. <laughs> let's let's do this, Janie. Just keep in mind the volume. All right. <laughs> okay. His eyes are open now, blistering with heat. His teeth are clenched as he flexes again, and I push him deeper into my mouth, supporting myself on his thighs. I feel his legs tense beneath my hand. He reaches up and grabs my pigtails and starts to really move. Oh, baby, that feels good, he murmurs. I suck harder, flicking my tongue across the head of his impressive erection. Wrapping my teeth behind my lips, I clamp my mouth around him. His grip... Oh. Hisses between his teeth and he oh. groans. Jesus, how far can you go? He whispers. <laughs> I pull him deeper into my mouth so I can feel him at the back of my throat and then the front again. My tongue swirls around the end. He's my very own Press F flavored popsicle. I suck harder and harder, pushing him deeper and deeper, swirling my tongue around and around. <laughs> I had no idea giving pleasure could be such a turn on. Watching him ride suddenly was carnal longing. My inner goddess is doing a merengue with some salsa moves. He needs to be with you. you. And also, also with you. you. Anastasia, I'm going to come in your mouth. His breathy tone is warning. If you don't want me to, stop now. He thrusts his hips again. His eyes are wide, wary, and filled with salacious need. Need for me. Need for my mouth. Oh my. His hands are really gripping my hair. I can do this. I push even harder, and in a moment of extraordinary confidence, I bare my teeth. It tips him over the edge. Ow! He cries out and stills, and I can feel warm, salty liquid oozing down my throat. <laughs> Time. All right, that was a minute and 40 seconds. Our fastest yet. Wow. A new record. Good job. Okay, well, all right, they didn't skimp out on the face fucking. I should give them credit for that. Uh, it still wasn't a satisfying face fuck, though. 
No, unfortunately, that's it's something that's really difficult to make nice in writing. Ugh, I'm not sure about this, but one look at him and I don't care. He's come apart in the bath because of me. I sit back and watch him, a triumphant gloating smile bugging at the she corners swallow? of my lip. Yeah. Yeah, it says I swallow quickly. Also, that was her first blowjob, so all of that was bullshit. <laughs> so she deep-throated and swallowed on her first time. Bullshit. Yeah, bullshit. <laughs> Unless she's got absolutely no gag reflex, and oh, still even then. We're getting there. But when look at uh, bu- 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 his breathing is ragged. Opening his eyes, he glares at me. Don't you have a gag reflex? He asks, astonished. Christ, Anna, that was good, really good. Unexpected though. He glares. He frowns. You know you never- Glares and frowns. Why the f- Dude. You can't- This guy is just the worst at aftercare. You can't fucking please this dude, man. Like, you just found out- You just <laughs> you... got an amazing blowjob from your girlfriend and you just you found just... out- she's... Well, not yet, girlfriend, but- Well, you know, but still, dude. she's got no gag reflex and you're like, Oh my god, glaring at her? What the fuck? You found a unicorn without a gag reflex. I <laughs> think he's just all like- Why is he so angry? He'd just be all like- <laughs> this guy literally just nutted, and he's still all pissed off. What the fuck, you- g- Jesus. You know you never cease to amaze me. I smile and consciously bite my lip. He eyes me speculatively. Have you done that before? No. And I can't help the small tinge of pride in my denial. Good, he says complacently, and I think relieved. Yet another first, Miss Steele. He looks appraisingly oh, oh, at me. he was, like, gonna be all like, Oh, well, I'll fucking track down and kill whoever taught you, taught to, give you, taught you to give blowjobs. Yeah. How do we still have so many pages left in this chapter? <laughs> <laughs> it's time, a long chapter. Time to speed read. You've been dicking around a lot. Yeah. Well, you get an A in oral skills. Come, let's go to bed. I owe you an orgasm. Orgasm? Another one. <laughs> another one. <laughs> Quickly, he clambers out of the bath, giving me my first full glimpse of the Adonis, divinely formed, that is... Do it. <laughs> Alexander Hamilton. How does a bastard orphan son of a whore and a Scotsman <laughs> dropped in the middle of a forgotten spot in the Caribbean and by providence impoverished and squalor grow up to be a hero and a scholar? <laughs> You're the one! <laughs> Alexander <laughs> Hamilton! You're the one who put requires musical interlude from Avalon next to that note, so I hope that you're happy with I your I was choice. expecting it would be someone else. Nope. <laughs> My inner goddess has stopped dancing and is staring you. too, so open mouthed and drooling slightly. His <laughs> erection tamed but still substantial. Wow. He wraps a small towel around his waist, covering the essentials, and holds out a why. This and holds just, out a larger fluffy white towel. This for guy me. is just always hard. <laughs> Just constantly. Always. That's my secret, Mr. Clean. I'm always hard. <laughs> Climbing out of the bath, I take his proffered hand. He wraps me in the towel, pulls me into his arms, and kisses me hard, pushing his tongue into my mouth. I long to reach around and embrace him, touch him, but he has my arms trapped in the towel. I'm soon lost in his kiss. He cradles my head, his tongue exploring my mouth, and I get a sense he's expressing his gratitude, maybe, for my first blowjob? Whoa. <laughs> he pulls away, his hands on either side of my face, staring intently into my eyes. He looks lost. Say yes, he whispers fervently. I frown, not understanding. To what? Yes, to our arrangement, to being mine. Please, Anna, he whispers pleadingly, emphasizing the last word and my name. He kisses me again, sweetly, passionately, before he stands back and stares at me, blinking slightly. He takes my hand and leads <laughs> just... me back to his bedroom, leaving me reeling. So I follow him meekly, stunned. He really wants this. In his bedroom, he <clears throat> stares down at me as we stand by his bed. Trust me, he asks suddenly. I nod, wide-eyed with the sudden realization that I do trust him. Why? What's he going to do to me now? An electric thrill hums through me. Bzz, Good bzz. girl, he breathes, his thumb brushing my bottom lip. He steps away into his closet and comes back with a silver-gray silk-woven tie. Hold your hands together in front of you, he orders as he peels the towel off me and throws it onto the floor. I do as he asks, and he binds my wrist together with his tie, nodding it firmly. His eyes are bright with excitement. He tugs at the binding. It's secure. Some boy scout he must have been to learn this knot. What now? My pulse has gone through the roof, my heart beating in a frantic rhythm. He runs his fingers down my pigtails. You look so lovely with these, he murmurs, and moves forward. Instinctively, I move back until I feel the bed against the back of my knees. 
He drops his towel, but I can't take my eyes off his face. His expression is ardent, full of desire. Oh, Anastasia, what shall I do to you? He whispers as he lowers me onto the bed, lying beside me and raising my hands above my head. I could be finishing good omens right now. <laughs> Keep your hands up here. Don't move them, understand? His eyes burn into mine, and I'm breathless <laughs> from their intensity. Wait a second, it just reminded me of freaking... <laughs> His penis burned <laughs> into <laughs> mine. <laughs> yeah, no, that's a great video. <laughs> it's just like... <laughs> this is not a man I want to cross, ever. Uh, uh, Scarlet? Answer me, he demands, his voice soft. I won't move my hands. I'm breathless. Good girl, he murmurs. That's the second time. And deliberately licks his lips slowly. I'm mesmerized by his tongue as it sweeps slowly over and Ray's gone. Over his upper lip. He's staring into my eyes, watching me, appraising. He leans down and plants a chaste, swift kiss on my lips. I'm going to kiss you all over, Mr. Clean, he says softly, <laughs> and he cuffs my chin, pushing it up, giving him access to my throat. His lips glide down my throat, kissing, sucking, and nipping to the small dip at the base of my neck. His body leaps to atten or my body leaps to attention everywhere. My recent bath experience has made my skin hypersensitive. My hated blood pools low in my belly, between my legs, right down there. Down there. there. I groan. In my vagina. <laughs> I want to touch him. I move my hands and rather I awkwardly, given I'm restrained, feel his hair. He stops kissing me and glares up at me, shaking his head from side to side, tutting as he does. He reaches for my hands and places them above my head again. Don't move your hands or we just have to start all over again, he scolds me mildly. Oh, he's such a tease. You haven't, like, <sighs> sorry, uh, Twilight was better? Okay, so, yeah, they've engaged in kink play twice now, technically, because there was orgasm denial in the bath, which is a kink thing, and now they're doing bondage and, like, he's telling her not to move and stuff. They've engaged in, like, kink things twice now, and he, they haven't negotiated a safe word they haven't really negotiated boundaries because she hasn't like signed the contract or nothing they haven't had <laughs> she anything. never signs the contract oh fucking what fa but yeah like they haven't done any of the normal like negotiation or talking out that you would do before or something like this so uh this is shady she hasn't given her informed consent to do these things how do we know that she's not just gonna like fucking push past every anything that she wants to do uh yep I want to touch you. My voice is all breathy and out of control. I know, he murmurs. Keep your hands above your head. He orders, his voice forceful. He cups my chin again and starts to kiss my throat as before. Oh, he's so frustrating. His hands run down my body and over my breaths, breasts as he reaches the dip at the base of my neck with his lips. He swirls the tip of his nose around it and begins a very leisurely cruise with his mouth, heading south, following the path of his hands, down my sternum to my breasts. Each one is kissed and nipped gently, or, and my nipples tenderly sucked. Holy crap. My hips so start awkward. swaying and moving of their own accord, grinding to the rhythm of his mouth on me, and I'm desperately trying to remember to keep my hands above my head. Keep still, he warns, his breath warm against my skin. Reaching my navel, he dips his tongue inside and then gently grazes my belly with his teeth. My body bows off the bed. God, just tickles. That would just tickle. Bows off the bed. Jesus bows Christ. Out. What the Goodbye, fuck? everyone. His body's just like, I'm gone. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> you are so sweet, Mr. Clean. His nose glides along the line between my belly and my pubic hair, biting me gently, teasing me with his tongue. Sitting up suddenly, he kneels at my feet, grasping both my ankles and spreading my legs wide. Holy shit! He grabs my left foot, bends my knee, and brings my foot up to his mouth. Watching and assessing my every reaction, he tenderly kisses each of my toes, then bites each one of them softly on the pads. When he reaches my little toe, he bites harder, and I convulse, whimpering. He glides his tongue up my instep, and I can no longer watch him. It's too erotic. I'm going to combust. I squeeze my eyes shut and try to absorb and manage all the sensations he's creating. He kisses my ankle and trails kisses up my calf to my knee, stopping just above. He then starts on my right foot, repeating the whole seductive, mind-blowing process. Okay, so foot fetish confirmed. Oh, please, I moan as he bites my little toe, the action resonating deep in my belly. <laughs> oh god, it's that foot fetish again. Oh, no, no, good no. things, Mr. Clean, he breathes. <laughs> This time he doesn't stop at my knee, he continues up the inside of my thigh, pushing my thighs apart as he does, 
and I know what he's going to do, and part of me wants to push him off because I'm mortified and embarrassed. He's going to kiss me there. Oh, for fuck's sake. I know it, and part of me is glorying in the anticipation. He turns to my other knee and kisses his way up my thigh, kissing, licking, sucking. And then he's between my legs, running his nose up and down my sex, very <laughs> softly, very gently. I ride. Just his oh nose? My. Fuck. Just Where's his that, nose? uh, <laughs> pussy sniff? <laughs> just his nose. Use your tongue, you dumb right. bitch. We should probably have the, uh, counter ready, though. Ah, uh, yes, you are correct. <clears throat> he stops, waiting for me to calm. I do, and raise my head to gaze at him, my mouth open as my pounding heart struggles to calm. Do you know how intoxicating you smell, Mr. Clean? He murmurs, <laughs> and keeping his eyes on mine. He pushes his nose into my pubic hair and inhales. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm not making that shit up. <laughs> Pubes. Page 141, people. I flush scarlet everywhere, feeling faint, and I instantly close my eyes. I can't watch him do that. He <laughs> Neither blows, can I. He blows gently up the length of my sex. Oh, oh I'm pretty sure that, that can possibly cause an yeah. embolism. You're not supposed to do that. Yeah, don't. you're not supposed to blow into the vagina. <laughs> yeah, don't do that. That could actually fucking literally kill them, possibly. <laughs> don't do that. Yeah. <laughs> blow directly into the vagina. Especially <laughs> given that she's just had sex for the first time and is probably more sensitive in that area. Because, I mean, like, the the lining is well, more... Raw. Well, she did bleed, so, yeah. Because, yeah. like, that's the danger of it, is that it, you know, it's easier for things to pass into your blood vessels from there. Mm. And if the air gets in your blood, then... We're not gonna go into that. Anyway. Don't blow into people's vaginas. <laughs> Don't do it. Oh, Fuck. I like this. He gently tugs at my pubic hair. Perhaps we'll keep this. Oh, please, I beg. He, t he tugs at it? What the fuck? Yank. <laughs> it's like Rapunzel down there. <laughs> Rapunzel, Rapunzel, and down here. I'm pretty sure that's a cyanide and happiness short. Oh, no. Hmm, I like it when you beg me, Anastasia. I groan. Tit for tat is not my usual style, Mr. Clean, he whispers as he gently blows up and down me. But you please me today, and you should be rewarded. I hear the wicked grin in his voice, and while my body is singing from his words, his tongue starts to slowly circle my clitoris as his hands hold down my thighs. I'm gonna just start. <laughs> as my body bows and convulses at the touch of his tongue. <laughs> I don't know how else to express that noise. <laughs> He swirls his tongue around and around again and again, keeping up the torture. I'm losing all sense of self, every atom of my being concentrated hard on that small potent powerhouse at the apex of my thighs. Whew, that was a sentence. His legs go rigid and he slips his finger inside me and I hear his growling groan. Oh baby, I love that you're so wet for me. He moves his finger in a wide circle, stretching me, pulling at me, his tongue mirroring his actions around and around. I groan. It is too much. My body begs for relief, and I can no longer deny it. I let go, losing all cogent thought as my orgasm seizes me, wringing my insides again and again. Holy fuck. That was 46 seconds. Including- I didn't even start it from the penetration, I started from the, the clitoris. So, yeah. Clitoris. 46 seconds. That's it. I cry out and the world dips and disappears from view as the force of my climax renders everything null and void. Jesus. I am panting and vaguely hear the rip of foil. Very slowly he eases into me and starts to move. Ah, uh, she hasn't consented to that. Oh my, the feeling is sore and sweet and bold and gentle all at once. In fact, they were specifically avoiding this because she was already sore. Yeah, yeah and also like right after she just came, dude, slow down, give her a minute. Jesus. How's this, he breathes. Fine, good, I breathe. And he really starts to move fast, hard, and large, thrusting into me over wow. and over, implacable, pushing me and pushing me until I am close to the edge again. I whimper. Come for me, baby. His voice is harsh, hard, raw at my ear, and I explode around him as he pounds rapidly into me. Thank fuck, he whispers, and he thrusts hard once more and groans as he reaches its climax, pressing himself into me. Then he stills, his body rigid. Um, so that was about, that was about 20 seconds. <laughs> they just keep getting shorter. <laughs> Collapsing on top of me, I feel his full weight forcing me into the mattress. I pull my tied hands over his neck and hold him the best I can. I know in that moment I would do anything for this man. I am his. I wonder what that he's, 
the wonder that he's introduced me to, it's beyond anything I could have imagined, and he wants to take it further, so much further, to a place I can't in my innocence even imagine. Oh, what to do? He leans up on his elbows and stares down at me, gray eyes intense. Blue. See how good we are together, he murmurs. If you give yourself to me, it'll be so much better. Trust me, Anastasia. I can take you places you don't even know exist. Cherry, 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 cherry. His words echo my thoughts. He strokes his nose against mine. His nose is, like, covered and slick, but okay. Yeah. This would be cute if not for... <laughs> I'm still reeling from my extraordinary physical reaction to him, and I gaze up at him blankly, grasping for a coherent thought. Suddenly, we both become aware of voices in the hall outside his bedroom door. It takes a moment to process what I can hear. But if he's still in bed, then he must be ill. He's never in bed at this time. Shake Signora never sleeps in. Mrs. Gray, please. Taylor, oh, sorry. Mrs. Gray, please. Taylor, you cannot keep me from my own son. Mrs. Gray, he's not alone. What do you mean he's not alone? I he has someone with him. His mother's British. <laughs> oh, even I hear the disbelief in her voice. Maguka Maduka blinks rapidly, staring down at me, wide-eyed with humored horror. Shit, it's my mother. Oh, okay, that's that's it. We we went really long, so no outro. <sighs> just you know the drill. We'll be back next week. Get out of here! Don't blow into the crazy kids. Bye. Bye. Bye.